Hello and welcome. To solve this equation, let us express these four numbers as products of their prime factors. Now we know that 8 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2. That is 2 to the power of 3. 27 is equal to 3 times 3 times 3. That is 3 to the power of 3. 12 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3. That is 2 to the power 2 multiplied by 3. And 18 is equal to 3 times 3 times 2. That is 3 to the power 2 multiplied by 2. When we have done this, this equation becomes 2 to the power 3 to the power x plus 3 to the power 3 to the power x divided by 2 to the power 2 multiplied by 3 to the power x plus 3 to the power 2 multiplied by 2 to the power x and this is equal to 7 over 6. Now the next thing we are going to do is to recall from our studies of indices that when we have a to the power m to the power n that this is simply equal to a to the power m multiplied by n. So opening up the brackets we have 2 to the power 3x plus 3 to the power 3x divided by 2 to the power 2x multiplied by 3 to the power x plus 3 to the power 2x multiplied by 2 to the power x is equal to 7 over 6. Now, when you look at this equation, you will see that we have two bases. We have base 2 and we have base 3. So the next step in solving this equation will be to divide both the numerator and the denominator by 3 to the power 3x. This is what I mean. We have 2 to the power 3x divided by 3 to the power 3x plus 3 to the power 3x divided by 3 to the power 3x over 2 to the power 2x multiplied by 3 to the power x divided by 3 to the power 3x plus 3 to the power 2x multiplied by 2 to the power x divided by 3 to the power 3x is equal to 7 over 6. Now let us simplify this term. Recall from our laws of indices that when we have a to the power m divided by a to the power n, this is simply equal to a to the power m minus n. So here we have 3 to the power x divided by 3 to the power 3x. So, of course, this is equal to 3 to the power x minus 3x. And x minus 3x is minus 2x. That is 3 to the power minus 2x. But remember that when we have a negative indices, we can write this as 1 over 3 to the power 2x. So that means that we can remove this and we can remove this and replace the two of them with this, that is 3 to the power 2x. Now let us do the same thing with this term. Once more here we have 3 to the power 2x divided by 3 to the power 3x. So this is equal to 3 to the power 2x minus 3x. 2x minus 3x is minus x. So this is 3 to the power minus x. And once more, negative indices. So this is going to be 1 over 3 to the power x. So once more, I can clean off this. Clean off this. And simply replace the two of them with 3 to the power x. Now when you look at the resulting equation, you will see that here we have 2 to the power 3x, 3 to the power 3x. Because the two numbers have the same exponents, we can write them as 2 over 3 to the power 3x. 
plus. Of course, this and this are the same. So this divided by this is 1 over. The same thing happens here. This number and this number have the same exponent. So we can write it as 2 over 3 to the power 2x plus same exponent 2 over 3 to the power x. Now recall that when we have a to the power m multiplied by n, that this is equal to a to the power m to the power n, but it's also equal to a to the power n to the power m. So we can switch places. So for instance, this, I can write this as 2 over 3 to the power x, all cubed. Because notice that to remove this outer bracket, I, simp I simply have to multiply 3 by x and I will get 3x. And in this same way, I can write this as 2 over 3 to the power x, all squared. Because once more, to remove this outer bracket, I simply have to multiply 2 by x and I am going to get 2x. So what we are going to do now is to say, let 2 over 3 to the power x be equal to y. And when we do that, this now becomes y cubed plus 1 divided by y squared plus, of course, this is y, is equal to 7 over 6. Sorry, I forgot to add 7 over 6 here. Now, at this point, you may be tempted to just cross multiply. But notice that when you just cross multiply, you will run into a third order polynomial. And those are hard to solve. So before we do that, the next thing we do is to try to factorize the numerator and the denominator. Notice that we can write this as 1 cube, because 1 cube, of course, is 1. But then when we have written 1 cube, you will notice that this has become the sum of 2 cubes. And you know that when we have a cube plus b cube, that we can factorize this as a plus b multiplied by a squared minus ab plus b squared. So this is exactly how we are going to factorize the numerator. So here we have y plus 1 into y squared minus y times 1, of course, is y, plus 1 squared is 1, divided by, we can factorize y, and when we do that, we have y. y squared divided by y is y, and y divided by y is 1, and this is equal to 7 over 6. Now, this can cancel that, leaving us with y squared minus y plus 1 divided by y is equal to 7 over 6. Now we can cross multiply. When we cross multiply, we have 6y squared minus 6y plus 6 is equal to 7y. Bringing all the terms over to the left-hand side, we have 6y squared minus 6y minus 7y plus 6 is equal to 0. 6y squared minus 6y minus 7y is minus 13y plus 6 is equal to 0. Now we have a quadratic equation which we can solve for values of y. And of course, to solve this equation, first of all, we multiply these two terms. And when we do that, we have 6y squared times 6 will give us 36y squared. Next, we ask ourselves, what are the factors of 36y squared that will add up to minus 13y? And of course, they are 9y and 
4 y but because of the negative minus 9 and minus 4 because minus 9 y multiplied by minus 4 y is going to give us plus 36 y squared and minus 9 y added to minus 4 y is going to give us minus 13 y now the next thing we do is to replace this with these two in this quadratic equation and when we do that we have 6y squared minus 9y minus 4y plus 6 is equal to 0. Now what can go into this? 3y can go into this. 6y squared divided by 3y is 2y and minus 9y divided by 3y is minus 3. Here we have minus 2. Minus 4y divided by minus 2 is 2y and 6 divided by minus 2 is minus 3 and of course this is equal to 0. From here we have that 3y minus 2 multiplied by 2y minus 3 is equal to 0. From here we have that 3y minus 2 is equal to 0 or 2y minus 3 is equal to 0. From here 3y is equal to 2 and y is equal to 2 over 3 or 2y is equal to 3 and y is equal to 3 over 2. So we have two values for y. That is either 2 over 3 or 3 over 2. So now we come back to this. We have that 2 over 3 to the power x is equal to 2 over 3 in the first case. And of course, you know that this is to the power 1. So that simply tells us that x is equal to 1. And in the second case, we have that 2 over 3 to the power x is equal to 3 over 2. But we can write 3 over 2 as 2 over 3, provided that we know that it must be to power minus 1. Because remember, when you raise anything to power minus 1, to remove the negative, you have to flip the fraction upside down. But when we've written it in this form, you can see that we have 2 over 3, and now we have 2 over 3. So, of course, x has to be equal to minus 1. So we have that the two values of x that satisfy this equation are x equal to plus or minus 1. And with that, we come to the end of today's exercise. Remember to subscribe if you enjoy such content. Leave us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.